Bulls take on the 76ers as these two teams meet for the second night in a row. Good evening, everyone. Jim Durham with Johnny Kerr. The Bulls coming into Philadelphia after winning last night at home against the Sixers in a game which found John Paxson setting a record for long-distance accuracy. Well, that was exciting, Jim. Uh, he sent $1,000 in charity with those shots. And not only that, but he widened the, uh, the lead that the Bulls had. And they were able to put it away. And I had a chance to visit with John shortly before tonight's game and asked him about the mechanics. What went through his mind with that? Well, after the first two, I'll tell you what, the third and the fourth one felt a lot a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to shoot. Uh, you know, the way they were playing defense last night, sagging in on, on Bill Cartwright and double-team Michael Jordan, that shot was open. So uh, it was a shot that last night I made. We'll see if I can make it a few times tonight. Well, a crowd of about 17,500 were chanting 3-3 three, three every time Paxson got his hands on the ball. And when Pax is hitting that long-range shot, he doesn't lose that on coach Doug Collins. Doug Collins knows that for his club to really be successful, they need that weapon. Well, Jim, I, I think the one thing it does is it really extends the defense and allows you to play with a postman. I think that a, a great example of that is the New York Knicks, the way they use a three-point shot. And, you know, if a guy makes four out of ten three-pointers, it's equivalent to shooting 60% from the field. So we want John looking for that shot. Michael Jordan's even looking for it. So uh, it extends the defense and allows uh, your postman to play inside. It also gives you uh, opportunities to drive the lane to open areas. So uh, it's a very big part of our offense. And really shows this club, uh, I think, uh, how versatile they are when Pax is hitting that shot and then you can throw inside to a cart right. And uh, when Doug Collins is seeing that kind of execution, this is the way he envisioned it. Jim, uh, I, you know, you look at the stat sheet, you see six bulls in double figures. Now, that's pretty good for a team that's supposed to be one-dimensional, Michael Jordan only. Well, the, the great thing about it is that Michael can get his points as he did last night, his 33, and yet you still get these other contributions. That's right. He had points all during the game and uh, he just took Hersey Hawkins the young rookie to school a couple times but Bill Cartwright added his from the outside uh, Brad Sellers did his job Horace Grant did his job it was real nice effort the 76er team we talked earlier tonight I think is a much better club than the one last year so the Bulls really uh, have a stern test here tonight I, I think so too I think Jaminski has done a fine job with him Barkley is outstanding and of course again I mentioned Hawkins is going to be a star in this league We'll be back and have a look at the starting lineups before the Bulls play the 76ers. But first, let's stop for these messages on the Bulls Basketball Network. Chicago Bulls Basketball, sponsored in part by your local Ford dealer. Quality people, quality products. By Pure Amico Ultimate, the engine cleaning gasoline drivers rate the very best. Your car knows... By Budweiser, Beechwood aged for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. By Reebok Basketball Shoes. When new legends are made, they'll be wearing Reeboks. By McDonald's, good time, great taste. That's why this is your place. By your Toyota dealers. For Toyota world-class quality, value, and performance, see your Toyota dealer now and ride with the best. And by Federal Express who reminds you that it's not just a package, it's your business. Well, we have a rarity. The Bulls are on the road, and we don't have a sellout crowd here. The Spectrum with a crowd tonight of, I'm going to guess, around 12,000 or so in a building that seats over 18,000. Last night in Chicago Stadium, it was another sellout, a crowd of... Almost 17,500 on hand to watch the Bulls win it by 13, 120 to 107. That dropped the Philadelphia 76ers to the 500 mark, but at home, a little bit different story here. The Sixers are 3-1 and one on the home court. Now we're ready for the introductions. Let's go to the public address system. Chicago Bulls. At one guard in his fourth season for Michigan State at 6-2, number 11, Sam Vincent. Also in the backcourt is fifth season from North Carolina at 6'6", number 23, Michael Air Jr. At center in his 10th season from San Francisco at 7 feet 1 inch, number 24, Bill Cartwright. At one forward in his third season from Ohio State at 7 feet, number 2, Brad Sellers. 
And at the other forward is second season from Clemson at 6'10", number 54, Horace Grant. The Bulls are coached by Doug Collins. His assistants, John Bach, Tex Winter, and Phil Jackson. The trainer is Mark File. Doug Collins keeping his lineup the same. Sellers and Grant up front with Cartwright, Vincent, and Jordan at the guard spots. And Coach Doug Collins hoping he can get the same kind of productivity out of this fivesome that he got out of them last night. West Texas State at 6 1, number 10, Maurice Sheets. Also in the backcourt is rookie season from Bradley at 6'3", number 33, Hersey Hawkins. At center in his ninth season from Duke University at 6'11", number 42, Mike Jeminski. At one forward is 10th season from Southern California at 6'9", number 4, Cliff Robinson. And at the other forward, it is fifth season from Auburn at 6'6", number 34, Charles Barkley. The 76ers are coached by Jim Lynham. His assistant is Fred Carter. Barkley and Robinson at the forward spots for Jim Lynham. Mike Jeminski in the middle. Cheeks and Hawkins, the Chicagoland guard line. The officials tonight, Hugh Hollins, Tommy Nunez, and Don Vaden. Sellers draws Robinson in a matchup of forwards, Horace Grant and Charles Barkley, Bill Cartwright and Mike Jeminski, Michael Jordan and Hershey Hawkins, Sam Vincent and Maurice Cheeks. At no time in the young season have the Bulls been two games over 500, so with a victory tonight, they could do that. Both teams shooting over 50% from the field on the season. Last night, the Bulls almost 58%. And both clubs around 75% at the foul line. Mike Jeminski in to jump center against Bill Cartwright. And the opening tip controlled by the Bulls as Sam Vincent walks into the front court. Last night, the Bulls went on an 8-2 run to start the game. Wide right, Horace Grant. Sellers has it out front against Robinson. Jordan shoots the long one right of the key. Good. Michael Jordan hits the shot on the right side, and the Bulls have the 2-0 lead. His cheeks pushes on the dribble to Hawkins in the right corner. He nearly lost it. It did go out of bounds, but off Sam Vincent. And so with 18 on the shot clock, the 76ers will throw in. Foul line extended right. You would think that the Sixers would like to help uh, Hersey Hawkins get off here in front of his home crowd uh, against Michael Jordan. He went scoreless in the first half last night, had nine points for the game. Here's Barkley, left of the lane against Grant. Barkley in the lane, jump pass to an open Hawkins. He fires, no good right of the key. And Horace Grant, the rebound, feeds it off to Vincent. Sam Vincent up court on the dribble. Michael Jordan has it off to the left, into Cartwright. Wheels on Jiminski. Cartwright again wheeling. And travel, travel is the violation, says Chicago. You can spin as many times as you want if you keep one foot playing. You get a pivot foot down. His right foot was the pivot foot to the floor. 2 nothing balls. Philadelphia with the ball. Doug Collins is asking you, Hollins, about that. He said you can turn and turn and turn as long as you don't move your pivot foot. Cheeks off to the right. Inside pass. They go into Barkley to the hoop. Lays it in with the left hand. Charles Barkley ties the game. Sam Vincent up court for the Bulls. Vincent off to the right side, plays it into Cartwright against Jeminski. Cartwright right baseline, jump hook is in, and the Bulls have the 4-2 lead. Well, he's going him on the right side and then on the left side. Now. Hawkins with it on the right wing, inside pass to Barkley. For the dunk. Charles Barkley with four as Philadelphia scores in transition. This is one of the things that I thought they did very well last night is run their transition offense. And, of course, when you have the great veteran playmaker like Cheeks, you can do that. Horace Grant with a ball right of the key. Jordan has it off to the right. Long jumper over Hawkins right through. Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Drop that one in from the Jersey Shore. 6-4 Chicago. Partly between the circles, guarded loosely by Horace Grant. Dribbles off to the right wing. Picks it up, plays it into Jeminski. Again, right. Jeminski's jump hook right baseline. Rim good. Mike Jeminski. That's the shot Doug Collins said last night. Up the jump hook. We didn't see it last night, but we just saw it now, and the game is tied at six. Sellers in the left corner. Vincent has it left of the lane. Looks into Cartwright. Plays it to him. Cartwright double to the post. There was Brad into the basket. Grant has the jump hook in the lane. 
rimming, no. Rebound taken down by Robinson. Looked like that shot by Hand was partially blocked. Cheeks has it in the circle. Robinson feeds it off to the right to Hawkins. Fakes Jordan. Tries lane, fakes, lean in shot. Jordan slips it away. Cheeks has it. Left corner is Robinson, shot pocket 10. Robinson back wide left to Cheeks against Vincent. Cheeks around the Jaminski pick off to Hawkins. Right baseline shot is. Harvey Hawkins. Open up hit and the 76ers have the two point lead. Sam Vincent takes the outside shot on the right wing, rims it over the top. Didn't quite go all the way over. Barkley has the rebound. Out to Cheeks. Philadelphia back with the two point lead. Cheeks on the left wing. Burks on a Jaminski screen. Cheeks shoots the outside shot left of the key. No good. Rebound Hawkins. Hawkins low right takes it back out on the dribble and hands to Cheeks. They swing it to Jaminski. The left corner shot missing. Horace Grant the rebound. Sam Vincent pushes it up on the dribble. Bulls looking to tie. Vincent feeds it underneath to Cartwright for the easy one. Good play by Sam Vincent. Yes, sir. 8-8. Cheeks controlling for Philadelphia, left around a Jaminski screen, down the lane, lays it up, rejected by Horace Grant, but a foul called on his move to the hoop. The Sam Vincent, the first personal Vincent. foul of the game. First personal, Maurice first Cheeks on the line to foul. shoot two. Talk about the transition game of Philly. Uh, I guess you'd have to say that the, this is the old East team. When you talk about the Knicks and Boston and Philly, and they really uh, get the ball in and... In, in, and attack you right after a basket. Cheeks hits the free throw. Sixers up by one. Second one is in. Last year when the Bulls won four out of six games from Philadelphia, they were two and one here. Sam Vincent in the front court. Vincent off to the right has picked it up. Jordan has it. Baseline right against Hawkins. Michael comes out. Fadeaway jumper. Good right in the key. So Jordan, who had three dunks in the first quarter last night, has dialed eight three times in the first quarter tonight. Eight for long distance. Cheeks out to the left. Works around a Jaminski screen. Takes it down the lane. Lays it up. Rejected by Sellers. And Michael Jordan strips the ball from Jaminski. He's got a breakaway dunk. But they waited to see Michael in the open court. The crowd anticipated it when he went across the blue line. <laughs> <laughs> 12 to 10. Bulls up two. And Philadelphia takes a 20-second timeout. Cheeks is injured. He's holding his right knee. Al Domenico, their trainer, coming out. Typical. They wanted a foul call on Cheeks' layup attempt. Typical uh, that happens. A 20-second timeout. The trainer runs to the player. And the coach runs to the official. And Cheeks, it looks like he's trying to work that that off and he was holding his knee and now, now he his arm be, holding his yeah, arm he's holding his arm and stretching it and michael just uh flat out took the ball away from jaminski and finished it off with a two-handed stop timeout philadelphia 737 for the quarter bulls up to 12 to 10 back after these messages on the bulls network This copyrighted broadcast is presented by the authority of the Chicago Bulls for the entertainment and non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction or other use of this program without the express written consent of the Chicago Bulls is strictly prohibited. We welcome WQRF-TV in Rockford, WRSP in Springfield, KLJB in Davenport, Iowa, and of course the flagship TV station, Fox 32 in Chicago, and WLUP AM 1000. Bulls have the lead. Sixers with a ball in play. Barkley low left against Grant. Jump hook in the lane. Missed it. And Horace Grant the rebound. Bulls out of the gate shooting very well. And a lot of their shots from the perimeter. Six out of eight from the field. Sam Vincent off to the right. Guarded by Cheeks. Sellers shoots a 20-footer top of the circle right That's through. Brad right. Sellers, Sellers puts the Bulls up by four. He has quietly put together a beautiful touch, hasn't he, this season? Well, he was eight out of ten from the field last night, mostly on shots like that. Outside left is Robinson. Jaminski between the circles. Right side, Hawkins. Low right, Barkley. Back to Hawkins. Right in the circle. Shot rims out. Horace Grant the rebound. Hands to Vincent. And Sam Vincent into the front court. Vincent wide to the right, guarded by Cheeks. 
and Cheeks steals his pass into the post. Maurice Cheeks takes it back, pushing hard on the dribble. Cheeks slows it down, foul line. Works off to the right, plays at top of the circle to Robinson. Left of the lane, Jaminski over Cartwright. His outside shot is missed. Rebound battle inside, tipped off to Hawkins. Back to the hoop, scoop shot, no. Barkley follow, uh-uh. Ball tipped outside, but to Robinson. He goes down the lane and lays it in. Cliff Robinson said, here, I know what to do with this. He came from half court for that layup. 14 to 12, a two-point Bulls lead this trip, and 6-12 remaining in the quarter. Michael Jordan holding wide right against Hawkins. Horace Grant out high against Barkley. Jordan has it in the right corner, eight to shoot. Jordan walks it out against Hawkins, five on the clock. Michael takes a long outside jumper, missed that one, rebound Cliff Robinson, 76ers back looking to tie. Takes up all the attack off to the left, standing dribble against Vincent, plays it into Jaminski against Cartwright. Jaminski backs in, jump hook in the lane, is in, Mike Jaminski with four. 76ers have tied the game at 14. Sam Vincent outside to the left has stopped the dribble. Sellers with a ball top of the circle against Robinson. Shot clock at 10. Vincent has it back. Wide right, Sellers. Long outside shot missed. And Cheeks the long rebound. Philadelphia out in a hurry looking for the lead. Left corner is Robinson. Robinson against Sellers. Left baseline shot. Air ball. Barkley the follow. Lays it up. Good. And a foul call. Charles Barkley wrestled the ball from Jordan and scored and drew the foul on Horace Grant. That's his pure strength on that hoop. Uh, his third hoop of the game. Got the rebound off of the missed shot on the side by Cliff Robinson. Uh, wrestled it, you said, from Michael. And Horace reached in as he put it back up and he drew the foul. Sheer strength on it. And what he's done this year, Jim, so far in this game anyway, you've seen him, Barkley, go down and play the center position on the uh, low left side with Jaminski. Uh-oh, Hugh Hollins is trying to straighten something out that occurred last night, I believe, between Jaminski and Bill Cartwright. And I think, really, is something from past years, carryover between from, those two guys. From uh, the tunnel, from <laughs> Jersey to New York. Charles Barkley's free throw is good. The 76ers have scored seven straight, and they lead by three. Just about five minutes left in the quarter. Brad Sellers on the dribble in the backcourt. They have taken Vincent out of the play. Sellers now dribbles across against Cliff Robinson. Vincent has to come get the ball out front. Shot clock at 10. They're just now getting into their play and only 10 to shoot. Here's a pass stolen by Robinson. Cheeks on a two-on-one, takes it all away and lays it in. Murray's Cheeks scoring at Philadelphia, up five, nine straight points. 4.40 left to go in the quarter. That's really a telegraph when you let Cliff Robinson steal a ball. That's what happens when you don't have much time to operate on the shot clock. Off to the right is Vincent. Low right, they play to Cartwright. Fade away in the lane, rimming good. Bill Cartwright scores to get the Bulls within three. Outside left is Robinson. Dumps into Jaminski against Cartwright. Left baseline jumper. Blocked by Cartwright. Barkley's follow. Jump ball called as Sam Vincent reached in and tied him up. Now there he was again, Barkley, right underneath the missed shot. He just, when the ball goes up, he goes right Charles to position. And that jump. time, it's a wonder he didn't take Sam, Sam up and stuff him through the hoop. <laughs> so big size advantage to the 76ers. You can tip it back to Cliff Rock. He's going to tip it right to you. No one tipped it. We'll go up again. Michael Jordan saw that. You know, he knifed in yeah. there. Now Robinson moves over, and Barkley tips it to him anyway. Robinson has it off to Cheeks wide left. Cheeks dumps into Jaminski against Cartwright. Jaminski to the hoop, lays it in. Jaminski fake the move to his left, and then just spun to his right to the left baseline and scored. 21 to 16, 76 ers Sam Vincent hounded by Cheeks off to the left, plays it in to Cartwright. Cartwright left of the lane, fakes, shoots it up on Jaminski, missed it, Cheeks the rebound. Cheeks into the front court. 76ers have come to life here. They've run off 11 of the last 13 points. There's a foul on Cartwright against Jaminski down low left. Cartwright with his first. That's three team fouls on the Bulls. And a timeout taken. 3.38 left in the quarter. Philadelphia up five, 21 to 16 on the Bulls network.
This year, charitables will raise funds to benefit La Revita Children's Hospital, Little City, the Maryville Academy, Starlight Foundation, Target, and the Thurgood Marshall Black Education Fund. The Bulls would like to thank Entenmann's, the Interlake Corporation, True Value Hardware, Ron of Japan, all who have joined the cause to help raise funds for charitables. Philadelphia with a five-point lead in the ball and 3.38 remaining in the quarter. Sixers have it in play. Two cheeks. Off to the left, hounded by Vincent. Ten to shoot. Here's Jaminski against Cartwright. Back wide left to Cheeks. Cheeks works it baseline left to the hoop. Scoops the shot block, but Barkley tips it in. Charles Barkley has nine, and Philadelphia has its biggest lead at seven. Offensive rebounds for Barkley. Really the difference. Here's Sellers in the lane in heavy traffic. Fakes, pumps the shot up. Traveling called on Brad the Sellers. Traveling violation. Traveling on Chicago. Seventy Sixers with the ball. Cheeks comes into the front court. They lead by seven. Hawkins spins in the lane. Jordan a near steal. It's loose, but Barkley picks it up off to the right. Kicks it out to Cheeks, 20-footer, head of the key, right through. Maurice Cheeks hits it, and Philadelphia up by nine. Bulls led 14 to 10. The score now 25 to 16, 76ers. Sam Vincent is standing dribble between the circles. Left side is Sellers. Sellers works left over the top into Cartwright. Eight to shoot, out to Vincent. Vincent foul line under pressure. Horace Grant shoots a 15-footer. Rimming no. Cleared by Barkley. 76ers out with a nine-point lead. Here's Robinson to the hole. Reverse layup. Kicks it off to Hawkins instead in the lane. Has the Three. ball knocked away. A three-second call against Philadelphia. Overkill that time. Too many guys. John Paxson coming on for the Bulls with 2.21 left to go in the quarter. Paxson comes in for Vincent. No, he doesn't get in the game. Wasn't at the scorer's table in time. Depending on what home you're playing at. <laughs> Bulls are two out of 11 over the last five minutes here from the field, and they have fallen behind. Those outside shots that dropped early aren't going. Here's Jordan off to the left. They double him in the corner, and a pass to Grant Loose, but Vincent gets it out front with 10 to shoot. Sam works it left, eight on the clock. Vincent's outside jumper left wing, missing. Rebound, Jaminski. Two minutes. Well, when it's going cold, you better run it through the post once. Mm -hmm. Go with that high percentage stuff. <laughs> Barkley has it left side against Sellers. Barkley drives the lane. Left hand shot won't go. Rebound cart right off to Vincent. 76ers recover defensively. Vincent takes it anyway to the hoop. Feeds Jordan and Michael lays it in. Trailing on the play and draws the foul. Nicely done. Sam Vincent, little hesitation move. Dumped it off to Jordan, and he scored and was fouled by Barkley. When well, you're down the floor ahead of Jordan, they feel that they can stop you. They came right to you. But Michael was the trailer on this play as Sam took up the space here, went in between uh, Jaminski and Charles Barkley. Michael made the basket. Now he gets the free throw here. Paxson is on. Vincent is out. Jordan's free throw. Good. Dave Corzine is in, replacing Cartwright. Six-point Philadelphia lead with 1.33 remaining in the opening quarter. Robinson outside left, picks up on the dribble. Jaminski has it left of the circle. In it goes to Barkley against Horace Grant. Barkley in the lane. Corzine knocked it away. Barkley gets it back and still scores. Barkley has 11. And the 76ers lead by eight. Paxson comes into the front court for the Bulls, turning on the dribble. Takes it off to the left. 15 on the shot clock. Corzine has it ahead of the key. Right side is Sellers. Sellers takes the long one and hits it just right. inside of the three-point stripe. 27-21, six-point lead for Philly. And Sellers has six points in the game. 49 seconds left. Third in the uh, first quarter. Here's Jaminski's jump hook missing from the right side. Barkley, another rebound. Comes up shooting in the lane. No, and Michael Jordan takes it down. Jordan into the front court. Bulls going two for one. Jordan takes it to the hole. Scoop layup. Nope, but a foul called. And Michael Jordan shoots two. Let's pause for station identification on the Bulls Basketball Network. This is WFLD-TV, Fox 32 in Chicago. Over the limit. Michael Jordan shooting two. Michael Jordan on the line to shoot two. So they are going to get two for one on 24-second possession. 
Jordan walks away from the foul line, dumps the ball off to Tommy Nunez. Now he has it back. 33 seconds remaining in the quarter as Michael pushes the free throw good. Number Ed Neely coming on for the Bulls, and Horace Grant is out. He saw some physical strength uh, so far in his first quarter to Barkley. He really didn't show. We know he's got it, but didn't show in last night's game. He has really pushed Horace Grant underneath to get the rebounding position when somebody else is shot in their team. Michael hits the second free throw. 13 for him. The Bulls are within four after trailing by nine. And they will get it again on 24 second possession. Shot clock at 18, about eight difference. Outside left is Hershey Hawkins against Jordan. Hawkins on the drive, baseline left, spins the lane. Jordan smothers his shot. He throws it up anyway and draws the foul. Got the good hang time, the good maneuver Chicago ability. Chicago the leading scorer Michael in the nation Jordan and threw an awful lot of coverage for the foul line. A lot of moves like that. Coming in, showing you the ball, pulling it away. So Hawkins will shoot a pair. He's got one hoop in the game. Their starters have all got on the board. Hawkins rims the free throw good. He's shooting very well from the foul line on the season. Came in shooting 88%. The second shot. That's in. 76ers lead by six. 17 seconds left. Jordan walks it up for the Bulls, who will play for one. Jordan in the front court, 10 seconds. Michael is standing dribble out between the rings. Six seconds. Jordan works it left of the lane, takes it down the lane, pull up eight footer, banked it in. Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan kissed it in from straight out front. Two seconds. Here's Cheeks. Dribbles out the clock, and after one quarter, the Bulls are within four. It's Philadelphia 29, the Bulls 25 on the Bulls Basketball Network. Bulls tickets available at Chicago Stadium box office at Ticketron outlets or phone 853-3636 to find out about available dates. And you can also order your tickets at that number, 853-3636. Michael Jordan draw, drawing the Bulls within four just before halftime. A little eight-footer out in front of the hoop. That's a tough shot off the yeah, glass, absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. That is not easy when you've got to bank it straight on. Jimmy, the Bulls are 11 out of 18. They're shooting 61%. Uh, rebounding, though, has really been a big factor in here. The 76ers, 17 rebounds to seven for the Bulls, and a host of those by Charles Parker. You know, offensive end. Jim, you know what I like? Uh, tonight's game is brought to you on Channel 32 WFLD and on the loop. AM 1000, and they both have the Cos. Cosby, I can always watch on 32, and I can hear topical sports on the loop. <laughs> Ron Anderson has come on for the 76ers. Also, David Wingate and Scott Brooks and Chris Velt. Barkley, the only starter on the floor, and the Bulls have Michael Jordan out there with Brad Sellers as the only two starters, Neely, Paxson, and Corzine. Brooks to the right, gives it up to Wingate between the rings. Outside left, Ron Anderson works around a Velp screen, picks up on it. Six to shoot. Brooks bounce pass down the lane to Anderson. He runs over Neely, and a foul called on Neely. On the pass off, Ed Neely picking up the first foul. That is his first. That's his first. Chicago's first. I thought he was going to make the pass, but. Two shots for Anderson. Wow. Anderson hits the first one. Looked like Ed Neely lowered his head. If he had kept his head up, maybe he would have got the charge call. Because it appeared that he had position. Second free throw is in. Anderson hits them both, and the 76ers lead by six. Paxson, guarded by Brooks, comes across. Paxson turning on the dribble off to the right. Here's Sellers out high, guarded by Anderson. Jordan has it right side. Jordan on the move against Wingate. Carried the ball. Michael. Slip. The ball slipped out of his hands. It happens. Five turnovers for the Bulls. Philadelphia only one turnover so far. It happens. I saw Peyton from the one. <laughs> Outside left is David Wingate. Wingate drives the lane, kicks out to Anderson. He comes up shooting left of the key, missing. Barkley tipped, nope. 
Rebound on the floor and out of bounds. Lost by Barkley. Or he had another one. Oh, boy. And Corzine tried to save it. Dive out of bounds to save it. That ball was going out to the Bulls anyway. 11 minutes for the half, and the 76ers lead it 31 to 25. Corzine with a ball out high right. Pressured by Bell. Barkley steal and breakaway. Two-hand dunk. Barkley has 13. Philadelphia leads by eight. Bulls have used that play where Paxson comes off the screen and just floats over too many times. If you watch it on film, you see it coming. Michael Jordan off to the left, guarded by Wingate. Jordan, a jump pass out to Paxson. Paxson's picked it up right at the key. Ed Neely dumps it into Jordan. Low left, turnaround shot. It's in. Michael Jordan has 17. Jordan. And the Bulls trail by six. This is like the New Jersey game. Bulls trying to find somebody who can put the ball in the basket besides Michael tonight. Last night, they had great versatility and great offensive production up and down the lineup. Brooks dumps it for Anderson. 20-footer ahead of the key. Rimming no. Rebound fight there inside. Barkley lays it in. Draws the foul. Charles Barkley eating up Ed Neely now. He gave Horace a little bit of uh, what... How you rebound here, and now he got Neely down in that same. He's got that torture box going. Oh, he just got it and flipped it right up in the air. Beautiful job by Barkley. Barkley with 15 points in the game. Missed the free throw. Neely the rebound. Off to Paxson. Inside of 10 minutes for the half, and the 76ers own an eight-point lead. Paxson plays it left to Jordan underneath Corzine. Corzine in the lane, hook on Velp, rimming, good, foul called. Corzine on the line going for a three-pointer. Chris Velp with the foul, that's his first. Well, you don't see Dave uh, get down to the low blocks uh, too much this year, but that time he really got good position on big Christian Velp and was able to take the step in and it looked just the way that Tex Winter works with him before the game on developing that move. Corzine rims the free throw in. The Bulls are within five and 9.45 left. Now the Bulls need to get on the glass. They out-rebounded Philadelphia by two last night. Left baseline drive, Anderson missed the shot. Rebound fight tipped around. Anderson's follow. Nope. Corzine takes it down. Finally, the Bulls get a defensive rebound. Paxson comes into the front court. Pax works it ahead of the circle. 20-footer on the fade. Rims no good. Barkley clears it. Feeds it ahead to Brooks. Scott Brooks pushing on the dribble all the way in on Paxson. Shoots it up. Bank no good. Rebound fight. Corzine traveled with a ball. Violation on the ball. 9 16 left in the half. 35 30. 76 ers the lead in the ball. As much as Philadelphia has dominated this game on the glass and the turnovers, too, they should be up by about 20. Barkley is fouled before the shot as he rolled to the hoop. Corzine picks up the foul. That's his first. Well, this game belongs to Barkley so far and Jordan. Barkley doing exactly what he wants to do out there to everybody. Sixers have it in play. Brooks with it between the circles. Right baseline, Anderson. He drives it right of the lane. Comes up shooting. Blocked from behind by Sellers. Barkley gets it, though. Barkley trying to dish off, and Corzine a steal from Wingate. Bulls run the floor to Sellers. A lob to Jordan. Oh, oh, oh. 19 points for Michael Jordan. A nice feed by Brad Sellers, and the Bulls are within three with 8.43 left in the half. That's a tough play, and that's tough enough for a little man to make, but Brad Sellers going... You know, full bent down that floor. That's tough. Outside left is Anderson. Right side, David Wingate. Wingate against Jordan. Drives in the lane. Michael blocked his shot. A foul on Jordan. A personal That's foul. his second. Is on Sam Michael Vincent Jordan. coming in for him with 829 left. And David Wingate on the free throw line. 76ers have been on the line a lot it's because they are going to the hoop. They're getting a lot of shots in close to the basket. Cliff Robinson ready to come back for Philadelphia. He's going to come for Barkley. Barkley's got to get a little bit tired. Isn't he? Yeah, I would think. David Wingate hits the free throw. Let Robinson returns to the 76ers. You got it. Robinson for Barkley. Horace Grant coming back on for the Bulls. Jim, his high was 11 rebounds uh, against Atlanta. 
Barkley. He had seven in the first quarter tonight. Yeah, he's got to be in double figures now. Horace Grant in for Brad Sellers. Bulls right now. Neely, Grant, Corzine up front. Paxson and Vincent at the guard spots. David Wingate hits both free throws. Philadelphia leads it by five with 8.25 left in the half. Vincent shy of the timeline, throws ahead to Grant. They're trapping in the front court. Vincent trying to dribble against it. Picks it up, plays it left to Paxson. Shot clock at 10. Wide right is Corzine. He hands to Paxson. A three-pointer by Pax. Rim's no good for the right and taken down by Robinson. Now the key is for Pax to launch another one. Here's David Wingate playing it left to Brooks. The outside shot rimming. No, and Corzine the rebound. Scott Brooks missing the shot left of the key. Sam Vincent controlling for the Bulls. Left baseline comes up shooting. In and out. Tip try good at Neely. Neely on the left-handed tip, and the Bulls are within three. Anderson against Grant, off to the left. Chris Phelps, 20-foot shot, good, Chris top of the key. Phelps. Both of their pivot men <laughs> hit from the outside. I was just looking, uh, Lane Beers gets four for seven three-point plays. You talk about big guys that can shoot. Vincent has stopped the dribble. Horace Grant comes to get the ball off to the right. Vincent has it back, 10 to shoot. Vincent plays it into Grant, and it is loose in the corner and stolen by Anderson. 76ers push it in a hurry. Wingate to the hoop for the dunk. Wingate. Philadelphia up seven. Doug Collins takes a 20-second timeout. 7-12 left to go in the half. 41 to 34 is the score here. Well, the turnover has got to be bothering Doug Collins tonight. Uh, again, these teams played back to back. But uh, a turnover try to save the ball by Horace Grant. And then little Scott Brooks came down the floor and gave it to David Wingate. And he was able to stuff it in full stride. You, there are times when it, the Bulls are unable to make that simple pass into the post. The last time the turnover resulted on a misconnection from Vincent to Horace Grant. Horace then had to chase the ball. It was headed out of bounds and try to save it in play. And Philadelphia made the steal and was able to convert. As badly as the Bulls have been beaten on the glass and as sloppy as they've played at times, they're only down seven with 7-10 left in the half. Eight Chicago turnovers, 10 so far in the game. Packs it in the front court, gives it up to Vincent. Philadelphia with that half-court trap, but the Bulls aren't attacking. They get it across the timeline, and then they stop. Here's Corzine down low left, turnaround jumper. Missing. Tip won't go Neely. Loose ball to Vincent. Bulls get another attempt here, and it's an offensive rebound. Sam Vincent's 18-footer right of the lane, no good. Rebound tipped off to Vincent. Loose ball foul Ed Neely. I got three on Neely, is that right? I have two. Two, Loose okay. Ball foul has been called on Ed Neely. And a timeout taken. You're right, Johnny. Three fouls on Neely. Timeout taken with 6.43 left in the half. Philadelphia up 7, 41-34 on the Bulls Network. <laughs> Following tonight's game, stay tuned for a wrap-up of all the day's events, the complete weather picture, and the latest sports on Fox 32 News. Plus, Robin Brantley continues this week's health series with a look at headaches. What causes them and what brings relief? Well, a blown three-on-one fast break for one thing. That's Fox 32 News tonight at 9. And then on Sunday nights at 10, be sure to watch Bears 88 on Fox 32. I can tell Michael Robert Brady Jordan what gives you a headache besides that miss three on one. <laughs> That's when you can't get things going out there in the second quarter when... Michael Jordan has to come back a little Chris earlier. Phelps at the line for the 76ers. And also, Cartwright is back in the lineup for the Bulls. Chris Velp on the line delivers the free throw good. How about this? Offensive rebounds. The Sixers have 12 re offensive rebounds leading to 13 points. The Bulls have two leading to two points. And Chris Velp hits the second free throw, and that's why Philadelphia leads it by nine. 6.40 left in the half. Sam Vincent up court for the Bulls. Vincent off to the right side, guarded by Brooks. Horace Grant wide to the right, takes the outside shot, missed it, ball on the floor. Cartwright trying to dig it out, and it's out of bounds to Philadelphia. 76ers substitution, Mike Jaminski returns for Chris Velp. Mike Jaminski back on for Philadelphia, Chris Velp is out. 6.20 left in the half. 
Brooks has it off to the left. Works right around a Jaminski screen. They double on him, but Jaminski's wide open, and he shoots it in for the left side. Both guys went to Brooks. Brooks steals the inbounds pass. Here's Robinson down the lane, underneath Wingate. He lays it up, no good. Horace Grant the rebound. Now to Vincent. Vincent nearly lost it off the dribble. Vincent offensive, offensive foul. foul. He cleared out on Brooks as he brought the ball up the floor. Sam Vincent really struggling with his game tonight. His decision making hasn't been the best and now he turns it over on an offensive foul. Philadelphia has it leading by 11 with 5.54 left in the half. 11 of 2 in turnovers. It's a wonder he's still this close. Outside left. Ron Anderson on the drive. Baseline left. Comes back to Jaminski. Left to the circle. David Wingate between the circle. Spins on Paxson. Kicks it back off to Jaminski. The 18-footer is in. Now the 76ers are starting to hit their shots. They don't need the offensive rebounds. That's right. They've got the head spinning at Bulls. Philadelphia has run off 10 in a row and has opened up its biggest lead at 13. John Paxson out high. Left corner, Vincent. Takes the left corner jumper. Missed it. Rebound cleared by Robinson. Off to Brooks. Up court, Wingate. Wingate left to the lane. Here's Robinson down the lane to the right. Lost it off the dribble to Horace Grant. Off to Vincent. Sam Vincent coming back. Pushes on the drive. Right corner, Paxson. He comes up shooting. Rimming no. Rebound, Ron Anderson. Philadelphia throwing ahead to Wingate. Wingate in on Horace Grant. Shoots it and draws the foul. Horace Grant with his second foul, and David Wingate is on the line. And it's clinic time here in the Spectrum. Everything going wrong. It's Murphy's Law right now for the Bulls. Long pass down. I thought that Wingate had taken a little bit of traveling music on the way in, but Horace Grant picks the foul up. Sellers coming back for the Bulls. Vincent is out. So the Bulls with Jordan, Paxson, Sellers, Cartwright, and Horace Grant. David Wingate on the free throw line. It's a very similar scenario as the free throw is made by Wingate, Jim, as what happened on the back-to-back -back games against the Nets. Exactly. 76ers up by 16. They've run off 13 straight points. Here's Jordan, left baseline, lean-in jumper. It's in. Michael Jordan. He's it. Michael with 21. Tonight, no other player able to put the ball in the basket. Jaminski, top of the circle, right side, Robinson. Robinson holding on Grant, underneath Anderson, double fake, shoots it in. Anderson. Anderson got Sellers under the bucket and scored. That's four points for Anderson, 76ers up 16. And Michael Jordan, right baseline, under pressure, lead in shot, he banked Michael it in. Jordan. Jordan's got 23. 76ers in the front court. Off to the left is Brooks. Bulls are going to have to turn it defensively. Brooks takes it in the lane. Kicks back to Jaminski. Sidesteps Cartwright. Fade away from the left. Rimming. No. Rebound Grant. Outlet stolen by Robinson. To the hoop. Ron Anderson. And he lays it in. Bull sloppy, really sloppy. And what the Sixers theory was to give Michael his points, stop the other guys, and they've been effective in that department. Well, the other guys have stopped themselves. Here's Cartwright rolling into the lane, takes it back to the hoop, fadeaway shot, Rimmick, no. Rebound taken out by Robinson. Up court, Jaminski. Jaminski to the hoop from the right, lays it up, blocked by Jordan. And the ball is saved in play by Jaminski. Here is Robinson in for the left. He lays it up, no good. Tip try Anderson, good. What's the call? It's a foul over the top. I think it's on Sellers. Brad Sellers committing the foul, then the basket counts. But he tapped it in. Timeout taken. 3.23 left to go in the half. It's all Philadelphia. 54 to 38 on the Bulls Network. Friday night, the Atlanta Hawks are in. A 7.05 tip. First 10,000 fans receive a Bulls desk clock. Compliments of Xerox. And on Friday, well, on December 6th, the Bulls host the Boston Celtics. Tip-off also at 7.05, and the first 10,000 fans receive a Bulls thermal mug courtesy of Budweiser. Tickets at the stadium, Ticketron, or call 853-3636. Michael Jordan has scored 23 points in the game, and he's also done it from the defensive end, but on a block against Jaminski, Jaminski was able to just reach out and save it inbounds. And... Philadelphia was able to score 
Well, they get Robinson on the free throw line here, and Robinson hits the first one to give them their biggest lead at 17. Well, you talk about balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players on their team have shot free throws. Robinson hits both of them. Philadelphia up 18 with 3.20 left. It's been a mess for the Bulls so far tonight. Outside left is Cartwright. Paxson has it. Top of the circle, Horace Grant. Paxson holding to the left. Dumps it into Cartwright. Back out to Paxson. Works right around a Sellers screen. Shot clock at five. Here's Sellers in the lane under pressure. Shoots the short jumper. Rimming no. Taken out by Robinson. Scoops it ahead to Cheeks. Cheeks gives it up court to Barkley. Barkley drives into the lane. Dish off to Jaminski. He lays it up. No good. Tip missed. Foul basket. called. Right. Count the hoop. Goaltending. Jaminski gets the basket. He has 12. And Philadelphia leads by an even 20. And that's killer instinct we're seeing in this quarter by this ball club. Bulls are back on their heels, letting the Sixers run the show. Packs it into the front court. Comes left, bounce pass into Cartwright. He picks it up, baseline left. Shoots it over Jaminski. Missed it. Cheeks Nobody the there. rebound. Two and a half minutes left before halftime. A big hole for the Bulls to dig out from under. On their side, there's a lot of time. Barkley left, baseline shot missed. Michael Jordan gets the rebound. Jordan behind the back, dribbled in traffic, spins it, and draws the foul on Cheeks as he came into the front court. First foul on Marty's Cheeks. Two team fouls on Philadelphia here in the second quarter. Bulls were down four at the end of one. They now trail by 20. John Paxson off to the right. Picks up the dribble. Hurt his ankle. Paxson gets a pass back, swings it left to Sellers. Brad's outside shot Brad good for the left. Sellers, Sellers has six. Yeah, Pax is limping, and Vincent is at the scorer's Two table. Left the first half. Two minutes. David Wingate plays it into Jaminski against Cartwright. Low right, Michael Jordan blocks his shot out of bounds. And now Sam Vincent comes on to replace Paxson. Sam Vincent returns for the Bulls, replacing John Paxson. Baseline right, 15 on the shot clock. Robinson inbounds to Cheeks. Cheeks on the move, top of the key, double up, right side, Jaminski, inside pass to Barkley. He's got the layup and the foul called. Horace Grant picks up the foul, his third. Charles Barkley has 17. You know, that pass went right by the man it was supposed to go to and went to Barkley. It threw the pass underneath to Cliff Robinson. It went over his head. Barkley was there to get it, and Horace grabbed him on the arm. Charles Barkley, big numbers, and Philadelphia up 20 with 148 left in the half. Hershey Hawkins ready to come back for the 76ers. Barkley's free throw, good. 61-40. Vincent against pressure. Passes to Sellers in the backcourt. Vincent has it back, dribbles up, plays it ahead to Grant. Pull-up shot, no good right baseline. Tip dunk, Michael Jordan. Jordan's got 25. Robinson off to the left. Drops the ball for Barkley in the left corner. Barkley against Horace Grant. Left baseline shot. Banked it in. Charles Barkley giving Horace Grant a major lesson tonight. He's got 20. Horace Grant scoreless in the game and has been hit with three fouls. 63-42. Jordan holding left. Takes the outside shot. Hook it. 27 for Michael Jordan. You said he was on point for 60 points. Jennifer. He's got what, 56 he against could get club, 60. 49. He could get 60 and the team could only score 75 where it's going. He's, not, he's taking a minimum amount of shots to do it. I think he's missed one shot. Here's Wingate off to the right against Jordan. Jaminski in the lane. Double fake. Lefty hook. Bank no. Gets his own rebound. Lays it up. Uh-uh. Tips it up. Missed. Cartwright the rebound. Off to Vincent. Bulls have a chance to string a couple of hoops together and an offensive foul on Sam Vincent. Ran right over Wingate. That's four for, uh, three fouls on Vincent. Paxson is already out of the game with an ankle injury. Anthony Jones gets the call. Sam coming down to court. Looked like he had his mind set on just going into that left corner. Wingate stepped in front of him. Anthony Jones is in for Vincent with 38 seconds left in the half. And Hawkins is in, replacing David Wingate. Cheeks walks it up. 63-44 Philadelphia. 
What a difference a day makes. Yes, sir. Cheeks off to the left. Standing dribble. Shot clock at 10. Cheeks works around a Jaminski screen. Right corner shot by Hawkins. Good for three. Hershey Hawkins hits a three-pointer out of the right corner. He has seven. Philadelphia in front by 22. Michael Jordan up court for the Bulls. 12 seconds left. They have a foul to take. Jordan against Cheeks. Michael comes left to the key. 20-footer. Missed. Rebound. Jordan gets it. Foul line jumper. Yes! Hits it at the buzzer. Count the hoop. Jordan's got 29. But his team has only 46. Philadelphia up 20. 66-46 here at halftime. We'll be back to recap after these messages on the Bulls Network. Philadelphia 76ers have taken advantage of sloppy play by the Bulls, a number of turnovers, and the Bulls not executing on the glass either. And the 76ers have opened up a 20-point lead here at halftime, despite 29 points from Michael Jordan. Michael has been brilliant, but he hasn't had any support at all through the first 24 minutes of tonight's game. Well, now it's time for the Fox 32 halftime report with Chris and Robin. Let's have that now, then we'll be back here in the Spectrum. Chicago Bulls basketball is being sponsored in part by your local Ford dealers. Quality people, quality products. By Pure Amico Ultimate, the engine cleaning gasoline drivers rate the very best. Your car knows. By Budweiser, Beechwood Age for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. And by your Toyota dealers. For Toyota world-class quality, value, and performance. See your Toyota dealer now and ride with the best. A difficult project, Johnny Kerr, to find highlights on the first half. <laughs> well, not too difficult. Uh, uh, a pretty good play coming up in the first quarter, early in the first quarter. Sam Vincent with the fire, the ball down in the Cartwright. Cartwright easy to, able to take a left hand and go up and stuff it. And a steal by Michael Jordan all alone. He looks behind him, nobody there, and he takes off and gives the crowd a real thrill here. Well, their superstar Charles Barkley takes off, looks behind him, nothing there, and a round mound of rebound slams it on down. Holly Oop, I thought the ball was thrown out of the gym here by Brad Sellers. Way up, Michael just changes direction and slams it down. And then Wingate had a nice play from Scott Brooks, got the pass on the wing, went in all alone, and he was able to clean it down. And Horace Grant took a shot down. Little jumper there, but Michael Jordan was there to clean it up and slam it on down through. Michael Jordan, 29 points. The only Chicago player in double figures here in the first half. As for the 76ers, they've had much more balance. Uh, Philadelphia Barkley has uh, 20 points in the first half. They got 12 from Jaminski and uh, Hawkins Wingate with seven. We'll be back with third quarter action after these messages. In the first half of tonight's game, the Bulls actually shot better than the Sixers from the field. But they had 16 less shots to put up. 21 out of 41 for Chicago. 25 of 57 for Philadelphia. At the foul line, the Bulls perfect in four, but the Sixers 15 of 16. Philadelphia out-rebounded the Bulls 32 to 19. 12 Chicago turnovers, only three for Philadelphia. And points off turnovers, 19 for the 76ers and only two for the Bulls. Well, the bench had uh, five points for the Bulls, 17 for the Sixers. The starters for the Sixers, Jim, had 49 points. The starters for the Bulls had 39. But Michael with 29 big points. Sellers with four, Cartwright with six. Means that Vincent and Grant did not scratch. On the NBA scoreboard tonight. Golden State giving Boston a tussle in the Boston Garden. One point lead for the Celtics in the third. Celtics winning last night in Miami, almost by default. Here's Cheeks in the front court. As the third quarter is underway, Cheeks on the walk to the left, guarded by Vincent. Hawkins has it left wing against Jordan, works around a Jaminski screen, back to Jaminski. Hawkins shoots out of the left corner. Nope. Long rebound, Cartwright grabs it, hands to Vincent. Sam Vincent into the Bulls' front court. Works off to the right side. Is picked up on the dribble. 
Cartwright with the ball out of high. Shot clock at 10. Cartwright has stopped the dribble. Bounce pass into Grant. Turnaround shot. Rimming, no. Taken out of there by Hershey Hawkins. And Cheeks brings it up. So Horace Grant still scoreless in the game. Sixers swinging around. Dump it into Barkley. His shot blocked by Grant, but a foul call. That's four fouls on Horace Grant. Charles Barkley shoots two. Boy, the way they got it so easy, they just swung the ball very easily to the power position. He got it into Grant. Grant error to Barkley. And Grant had to reach over the top. So Jack Haley getting some playing time here now in Horace Grant's position. I know one thing, Haley is going to come into the game and, and he is going to play with some exuberance. Jumping Jack Flash. Barkley, 27 points at home, 15 on the road. Well, he said 21 something. in the game now. He said our coach had us in a superstar prevent offense. <laughs> last night. <laughs> last night, which means he's the superstar. The coach took it away from him. <laughs> Haley grabs the rebound on Barkley's miss. Could this be a Wally Pip performance for Haley? Right side, Jordan. Haley has it top of the circle. Haley feeds Sellers on the wing. Low right, cart right against Jaminski. Back to Sellers to the hoop, and Brad lays it in. That's the way. Go to the bucket. Brad Sellers with eight. 67 48. Good feed by Cartwright out of the post. Sixers up 19, and Jaminski has it. Face-up shot on the way. No good right side. Haley the rebound inside of Barkley. So two rebounds for Jack Haley. Bulls run the floor to Cartwright under the basket. Turnaround shot on the way. Missed it. Rebound Philadelphia. Cheeks throws the lead pass to Barkley. He rumbles to the hoop. Jordan steals the ball. Here's Vincent out with a loose ball. Up court, Sellers. Brad Sellers to the bucket. Lost it to Robinson. Robinson stripped the ball from him on the drive. Again, they run the floor to Barkley. He dumps it that time. No doubt about that one. Charles Barkley has 23, and the Sixers lead by 21. Ten minutes left in the third. Vincent off to the left, standing dribble. In it goes to Cartwright against Jaminski, left of the lane. Back to Vincent, a 20-footer. Good left of the circle. Sam Vincent's first two points of the game. 76ers on the attack, Hawkins. Right side, swings it left to Robinson. He drives in the lane against Sellers. Turnaround shot on Brad, block. Barkley lays it in, though. Charles Barkley took the loose ball out of the air and scored. He has 25, 71 to 50. Bulls throw into Sellers underneath, fakes on Robinson, then shoots it in off the glass. Brad Sellers with 10. At least the Bulls are getting something early in the offensive set in transition. Hawkins right side, fakes Jordan, and lost it on the dribble out of bounds. Hershey Hawkins trying to drive in. The first half, Michael Jordan was 13 of 15 from the field. Also had five rebounds and blocked two shots. Bulls down 19. Haley has it top of the circle. Inside pass stolen by Hawkins. From Haley, trying to go to Jordan. Cheeks pushing on the drive, lays it in. Maurice Cheeks went coast to coast to score and give Philadelphia a 21-point lead. Sam Vincent walks into the front court for the Bulls. Michael Jordan in for the left side for the dunk. And that is 31 for MJ. So now he's 14 for 16 from the field. Barkley right of the lane against Haley. Barkley bangs with Haley out to Jaminski. The long jumper missed. The rebound on the floor. Vincent has it. Sam Vincent on the drive. Takes it all the way to the hoop on Jaminski. He blocks the shot. And then it's picked up by Haley underneath. He misses the layup, but he draws the foul on Hershey Hawkins. Really? Jack Haley was the guy that triggered the whole thing. Right, he did trigger the whole thing. He was wide open, though. They should have had to pass on him. And now Barkley's coming over to talk to Haley. They got into a little uh, pushing match on the other end of the floor. I know one thing. Haley won't back down from him. Nope. So Haley's going to shoot, too. They got into a little uh, shoving and pushing match as Barkley kicked the ball off and tried to spin down the lane, and uh, the rookie wouldn't allow it. Jack Haley had the final four points of the game last night for the Bulls. <laughs> I was kidding him as he got on the bus, Jim, today. I said, you know, Rook, I said, uh, you did a great job. I projected out over 48 minutes. You're leading the team 64 points a game. He says, can I have that sheet? <laughs> he makes the free throw. 
It has one more coming. 8-14 left in the third. Let's keep an eye and see what happens uh, next time they go down the floor with Barkley. Haley's second shot. That's in. And so the 76er lead is 17. Where'd he go? Cheeks has it off to the right. Swings it left to Robinson. He drives Sellers in the lane. Brad dug it away from him. The ball goes out of bounds. It belongs to Philadelphia with 12 on the shot clock. Robinson will throw in. Baseline right. In the right corner. Comes into Cheeks. Cheeks comes around a Jaminski screen. Takes it in the lane. Left side shot. Hershey Hawkins. Good. Hershey Hawkins spotted up and drilled it. He has nine. Philadelphia up 19. Sam Vincent takes Cheeks down the lane, lays it up under pressure, missed it, drew the foul, though, and Vincent goes to the line. Maurice Cheeks with a foul, his second. Well, this is what was missing in the Chicago attack in the first half, really. Other than Michael Jordan, no one was aggressive with the ball. So far, we've seen uh, Brad Sellers off the drive, score in the third. Sam Vincent get to the foul line off penetration. He hits the first free throw. 18-point lead. Second free throw. That's in. Again, the Bulls within 17. Cheeks in the front court. Standing dribble, top of the key. Right side, Hawkins. Hawkins against Jordan. Hawkins backs it out. Works it left, takes Michael in the lane, fakes and pumps the shot. And open ball loose to Sellers. Bulls trying to string a couple of buckets together. Michael Jordan walks it up with 7.23 left in the third. Jordan right side around a Haley screen. Works into the corner. Double teamed into Haley. Underneath on Jaminski. Traveling called on Haley. Didn't really know where he was. He yep. had the right idea, though. Well, you you got to expect a little bit of jitters from the first spring of playing time outside of just that minute he got in last night, Jim. I would look for him to pick it up a little bit. 75-58 Sixers. Cheeks controlling to the left. Outside left is Hawkins. Hawkins fakes on Jordan, drives the lane, scoops it up. Nope. Offensive Hawkins. foul called on Hershey Hawkins. That is an offensive foul. On That's his second. Hawkins. Hershey Hawkins uh, driving in the lane, trying an underhand scoop, almost like Michael Jordan, but got caught with his hand in the jar. His offensive foul. So the ball's the ball. Sellers with it, top of the key. Sellers plays it right side to Jordan, eight to shoot. Michael fires, no good right baseline. Cartwright the rebound in the lane, had the ball knocked away from him, gets it back. Hands it out to Vincent, shot clock at 19. So the Bulls get another opportunity here on an offensive rebound. In the left corner is Vincent, Cheeks guards him. Underneath Cartwright, turnaround shot, good left baseline. Bill Cartwright has eight. The 76er lead is 15 with 6.20 left. In the third. Well, you got to go at, uh, try to chip at the 10, 15, then the 10, right? That's it. Cheeks has the top of the key. Working on, he throws the ball out of bounds, but it was touched by the Bulls, knocked out by the Bulls as it went inside. And now timeout taken, 6-10 remaining in the third quarter. Philadelphia's lead is 15, 75-60 to 60 on the Bulls network. Well, you know, the Loop AM 1000, not only the new radio home for the Bulls, also the place that you can find Larry King weeknights at 10. Catch Larry following Copic on sports. The Larry King Show weeknights at 10 right here on the Loop AM 1000. Just looking down there at Scotty Pippen, I wouldn't be surprised to see if he's in a uniform the next time we see him Friday against Atlanta. Well, that would have been handy tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Left baseline, Robinson looks to inbound around Sellers. Still looking, comes into Hawkins, outside left against Jordan. Shot clock at 10. Bounce pass into Barkley under the bucket, gets the shot up, and in. Charles Barkley has 27. 76ers lead by 17. Cartwright holding out high on Jaminski. Underneath, Haley went for the dunk. Barkley blocked it from behind and comes away with the ball. Charles Barkley rumbles down the lane, throws it up. No foul called, and Barkley on the line to shoot two. Boy, it looked like he <laughs> fouled <laughs> Haley down at the other end. He blocked foul. a shot from the back uh, on a Charles dunk. Barkley shooting Passed two. down the lane. Haley went up to, to dunk it. Little, little bit of pressure <laughs> on the back here. 
Man, oh, he yeah, really he nailed absolutely it. Absolutely nailed him. It was a blown call, and Barkley hits the free throw at the other end. It's a shame because of, you know, the good effort that Haley's giving you. You need it, that effort to be rewarded. Barkley hits both free throws, and the 76ers have a 19-point lead again. And he and Michael Jordan are tied for scoring on it. Vincent into the front court. I have Michael with uh, 31. What a trade. Over the top, Jordan. Michael under the basket. Traveling called on Jordan, says you, Hollins. As Michael made a spin move after catching that lob pass. That's right. I forgot it so long since he touched the ball. And he made his hoop only shot of this half. 16 turnovers for the Bulls in the game. Six for the Sixers. John Paxson at the scorer's table. Cheeks feeds it right corner to Hawkins. Back out to Cheeks. He swings it left to Robinson. Robinson, one bounce dribble to the left baseline. Underneath is Jaminski for the layup. Drew the foul. They are wearing the Bulls out on the inside. That foul is on Cartwright, his second. And it looks like they're in a traffic jam over on one side, and they still are able to get the ball underneath. It looked like uh, Cliff Robinson didn't know where to go, but he was able to spot the man underneath, and then Cartwright fouled him from the back, so Jaminski will shoot two. He has not been to the line. It looks like the only guy that's been in a game outside of Scott Brooks that hasn't been there. That's it. 5-12 left in the third. It's been all 76ers since midway in the second quarter. Their lead is 20 as Jaminski makes the free throw. Jaminski's second one up. That's in. 76ers up by 21. John Paxson, who came on for Vincent, brings it up against Cheeks. Pax on the walk between the circles. Right side is Jordan against Hawkins. Michael goes baseline right, lead in shot rejected by Barkley, goaltending. Jordan has 33. 76ers with a ball. Score the basket for Michael Jordan. To work the length of the floor after that goaltend call. Cheeks into the front court, quick drive right of the lane, right corner Hawkins. Hawkins against Jordan, spins right of the lane. Robinson has it top of the key. Robinson foul line pump fake on Sellers. Can't get him uh -oh. the air. Michael is steal and has a breakaway. Jordan to the hoop for the dunk. He's got 35. Bulls down 17 with four and a half minutes left here. That was almost like pulling the line up and having a fish on the end. Michael stepped out there and he went, uh-oh, and the ball came out. He really didn't know how to dunk it. That was not even funny, Michael. 81-64. <laughs> Cheeks off to the right. Standing dribble against Paxson. And it goes to Barkley, and a foul on Haley. Oh, That's a rookie Hugh call on Jack Haley. His first, and let's pause for station identification on the Bulls Network. This is WFLD-TV, Fox 32 in Chicago. Grant Sellers leaves. Horace Grant is on for the Bulls. Grant, Cartwright, and Haley up front. Paxson and Jordan at the guard spots. Philadelphia has Ron Anderson in the lineup now. They also have Hawkins, Cheeks, Barkley, and Jaminski. Cheeks on the dribble to the left, plays the ball to Barkley, left baseline against Haley. Barkley rumbles in the lane, comes up shooting, banked it in, low left. Barkley's got 33. Philadelphia up 19. This is uh, Barkley's season high now. It equals his season high. Horace Grant plays it left to Jordan. Michael left baseline, lean-in shot is in. Jordan has 37. They're playing horse now. He and Barkley are playing horse. Unfortunately, Philadelphia as a team leads it by nine, yeah. by 17. Off to the left is Cheeks. Barkley has it top of the circle. Takes the outside shot in. It's around and in. Barkley with 35, 15 here in the third. 85-66. John Paxson on the walk to the right against Cheeks. Paxson plays it in to Grant and a foul on Ron Anderson from behind. Anderson with his first, first foul. On Ron Anderson, his first. David Wingate third. comes in for Percy Hawkins. David Wingate returns to the 76ers for Percy Hawkins. And Horace Grant will make the inbounds pass for the Bulls. Foul line extended right. That's three team fouls on the Sixers here in the third. John Paxson off to the left, standing dribble against Cheeks. 
Jordan top of the circle. Barkley has him. Michael spins left to the lane. Fakes lead in. Hayne jumper. Oh, -oh. 39 for Jordan. That's horse. You see now he's Barkley even out on Michael. Over the top to Barkley underneath. He's got the dunk. Barkley's got 35. A new season high. 76ers up 19. Paxson off to the left against Cheeks. In it goes to Cartwright against Jaminski. Back out to Paxson. Long jumper left of the circle. John Good. Two-point field goal for John Paxson. His first two points of the game. 87 to 70. The Bulls unable to make a dent against Philadelphia as the Sixers keep the ball in Barkley's hands and he converts. Here's Cheeks left baseline shot. Rimming, no. Rebound tipped around. Jordan saves to Grant. Ahead to Paxson. Pax brings it down, drives Cheeks off to the left, backs it out near the stripe, and calls a play. Off the ball, we get a whistle. Wingate. Tommy Nunez making the call. It's on Wingate. Personal Wingate with his first. Timeout taken. 2.09 left in the third. Sixers up 17. 87 to 70 on the Bulls Network. Say, fans, the Bulls have reached their cap of 13,000 full-season tickets. A waiting list has been started for any seats that may become available in the future. And to add your name to the list, call the Bulls' office at 943-5800. Michael Jordan with 39 points in the game, but his team down big. Barkley has countered that with 35. Barkley's 15 out of 21 from the field. He's made his last eight. Jordan is roughly... Right. Uh, yeah, we'll 16 out of about 20, I'd say. Bulls have it in play. Paxson with it between the rings. Haley has it left of the circle. Right side Paxson against Cheeks. Two minutes left in the Horace quarter. Grant, top Two of the minutes. key. Left side Jordan. Michael against Ron Anderson. 12 to shoot. Jordan goes toward the baseline. They double on him. Sellers has it left lane against Cheeks. Sellers loses the ball to Cheeks, but it's lost out of bounds by Wingate. How many has Sellers made? And how no, many? the Bulls kick the ball. Philadelphia gets At a new 24 ball. seconds. All right. New 24 second block and six of possession. 149 left in the third. Cheeks brings it up. Cheeks off to the right, stops the dribble. Wingate with the top of the key. Left side is Anderson. Long outside jumper. Missing. Michael Jordan the rebound. Michael's 18 out of 21, Jim. Oh, man. <laughs> Here's Jordan on the drive down the lane for the dunk. That's 19 out of 22. Yep. 87-72. What a shame. The waste of this magnificent performance by Jordan. Barkley wants it. He wants to show it. Barkley against Haley in the lane. Lays it in. No Offense. basket. Offensive oh, foul on Charles Barkley, his second. Jack Haley forcing the turnover. 1-11 left in the third. Looky here, if the Bulls score this trip, it's a 13-point game. Jordan double shy of the line, plays it ahead to Paxson. John Paxson off to the left against Cheeks. Sellers gives it up to Paxson, left corner, underneath Horace Grant against Barkley. Turnaround jumper, rimming. Good. Horace Grant finally scores Grant. his first two points of the game. The Bulls have cut it to 13. On the drive is Wingate. Scoops it off to Anderson underneath. His shot rimming no good. A foul called, and Anderson shoots two. You know, they attack so fast on you, Jim, that uh, you can stop the initial thrust, but then they've got people right under the board to keep it banging up against the glass. Chris Felt coming back in for the 76ers. Mike Jaminski is out. 48 seconds left in the third. Philadelphia's lead, which was 21, is 13. And Ron Anderson, outstanding free thrower, two for two tonight from the line, and 12 for 13 on the season, makes the first one. Anderson has seven. 88 to 74. Second one is also in. 76ers back to a 15-point lead. 45 seconds left. Paxson comes across, pressured by Cheeks. Jordan low left against Wingate. Turnaround shot. Rimming. No. Rebound. Felt. Ahead to Cheeks. 
Cheeks throws it into the right corner to Anderson. He goes to the hole and lays it in. Ron Anderson scores to put the 76ers up by 17. Well, the Bulls had their chances. Here's Jordan into the front court. Shot clock at 13, six difference. Michael Jordan, a standing dribble. Off to the left, seven to shoot. Did go three. Jordan takes the three. Rimming, nope, cleared by Barkley. Seven seconds, plenty of time for the 76ers to counter. Barkley feeds it off to Wingate. In the corner, the ball knocked out of bounds by Jordan as time expires. After three, Philadelphia up 17. 91-74 on the Bulls network. Atlanta in the stadium Friday night, 7.05 tip. First 10,000 fans receive a Bulls desk clock. Compliments of Xerox. Tickets for that ball game and all Bulls games at the stadium. Ticketron or call 853-3636. Boy, statistics are misleading. The Bulls are going to end up with a great percentage from the field in this game, and they're going to end up with more field goals than Philadelphia. But they're down by 17 points because the Sixers have been the aggressive team and they have gone to the foul line as a result. Well, it's, they've dug the hole now, Jim. You're trailing by 17. You wanted to get it down at least 10 by the third quarter. And they had a chance. They had it down to 13 and had the ball. Michael missed a shot. Then Philadelphia came back, got an easy basket. Sixers, when they got to the line, they've been effective 91%. They're 21 out of 23. The Bulls have only shot eight, and they made all eight. Bulls to work the ball the length of the floor. Scott Brooks is on for Philadelphia. Sellers looks to inbound against full court pressure. He throws it up court to Grant. Now to Paxson. And John Paxson dribbles across. And Brooks puts pressure on him in the front court. Horace Grant out high against Barkley. Off to the left is Paxson. Back to Grant. Open shot left of the key. Missed. Foul called. Chris Felt. Horace Grant shoots two. That's a break for the Bulls. They First have a chance to get on the scoreboard here early in the fourth. That'll drive a coach nuts. You get a guy that's having a tough time from the field, and uh, he'll take a 20-foot jump shot that's short, and the guy goes out and hits him across the right arm. And the guy doing it is your seven-footer. It's supposed to be blocking him in the painted area, and that way out there. Horace pushes the free throw good. 91 to 75. 76 serve. 91-76. Wingate has it in the front court. Bulls half court trap. Off to the left, Anderson. Right side, Brooks. Legal defense whistled against the Bulls. Uh, no, Hugh Holland's making the call. That's it's no legal foul defense on Jack Haley. Chicago, their first the game. All right, it is a legal defense against Haley. Anderson will inbound. Anderson open shot left baseline. Nope. Barkley's follow is in. Charles Barkley with another offensive rebound. He has 37 points and Philadelphia up 17. Hit his last nine shots, I believe. Paxson controls for the Bulls off to the right. Sellers out front, right side is Paxson. A bounce pass into Grant. Horace surrounded, off to Paxson in the corner. Back into Grant. Horace to the hoop, lays it in. Horace Grant. Six for Horace Grant. The Bulls stay within 15. David Wingate, front court to the right, leans over the dribble. Hands the, nope, gives it up to Velp, top of the key. Off to the left is Anderson. Wingate has it now, top of the circle. Shoots, tries to get a pass off to Velp in the lane, does, and Chris Velp gets the layup. Velp. Velp has six. Bulls can't screw the defensive screws down tight enough on this club. Sellers steps up and plays it left to Paxson. Pass into Grant and a foul called on Philadelphia from behind. It's on Velp. That's his third. Chris Velp, his third personal team second. Two team fouls, non-shooting foul. The Bulls will throw in. Foul line extended left. 10.36 left, 95-78 Sixers. Paxson has it right side against Brooks. Right corner shot by Pax. Yes, sir, John Paxson nails the long Paxson. shot. He has four. Bulls need a defensive stop. Right side is Wingate, inside Barkley, rumbles to the hoop, lays it in. Charles Barkley, unbelievable night. 39 points, 97 to 80. 
Michael Jordan standing dribble off to the right. Left side is Paxson. Long outside jumper right through. Pax has hit two in a row. And the Bulls stay within 15 at the 10 minute mark. Ron Anderson plays at top of the key to Velp. Wingate with it off to the right against Jordan. Long outside shot. Wingate is in. He's not known for that, but he hits it. David Wingate has nine, and the 76ers keep the 17 point lead. Time's a wasting for the Bulls with 9.40 left. Jordan to the hoop, lost the ball. Brooks comes out with it. Brooks is fouled by Paxson in the open court. First John Paxson's first Paxson. foul of the game. First team foul of the Bulls here in the fourth. Michael takes the drive down the middle and... Looked like he got chopped on the arm by Barkley. No foul called and Philadelphia game able to bring it down. Here's Corzine in for Sellers. Ron Anderson to throw it in play with 9.33 left. Left baseline Anderson covered up by Horace Grant. Anderson drives the lane. Corzine knocked it away, but two Barkley. He has the first one blocked, then lays it in and draws the foul on the next one. <laughs> what a performance. 41 for Barkley. Sixers up 19. Well, the strength of Barkley, that's been the story in this game. He has just out-muscled the Bulls. Barkley's free throw, rimming good. He's got 42 points in the game. 20 in the first half, 22 in the second. His team leads by 20 with 9.13 left. Jordan off to the left. Guarded by Wingate and Belt. Michael steps along the baseline. Belt puts a knee into his leg. That's the fourth foul on Chris Belt. Third team foul on the Sixers. Personal Cliff foul, Robinson Chris coming Belt. in for Barkley with 9.08 remaining. Third. Chris Robinson returns for Charles and Barkley. And a timeout taken. 9.08 left. Sixers up 20. 1.282 on the Bulls Network. The next Bulls game on Fox 32 next Tuesday night. Two next Tuesday night as the Bulls open the West Coast trip in Sacramento, and we'll have it at 9:30 Chicago time. Charles Barkley with 42 points in the game. He's 18 of 24 from the field. That has offset Michael Jordan's 41 points, and Jordan is what 19 out of 23. <laughs> Brad Sellers will throw in. Foul line extended left. Sellers looking. Comes in to Paxson. Brooks guards him. Paxson off to the right with nine minutes remaining. Shot clock at 14. Horace Grant down low right against Robinson. Comes up shooting. Missing. Tipped out of bounds by Jordan. Philadelphia with the ball. Trying to go to Horace Grant on post-ups. Brooks brings it into the front court, changing direction. Takes it right of the lane, shoots on Paxson, banks it in. Sixers up by 22. Looks like no comeback in store tonight for the Bulls. Eight and a half left, and they're down big. Paxson in the front court. Michael Jordan in the post this time. They chop the ball away from him. Philadelphia the steal, and they run it out. Brooks pass stolen by Jordan. Only the speed of Michael broke that play. You know that? Man. Coming from behind. Here comes Jordan back into the front court against Wingate. Michael off to the... Right standing dribble. Shot clock at 12, outside jumper, book it. Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan drills it from the right. He's got 43. His teammates have only scored 41. Outside shot, Wingate is in from the right. Boy, I don't remember him shooting like this from the perimeter. You? That long range, he likes his, used to like the three points. He's got 11 points in the game. Sixers up 22 again. Jordan spins on Wingate and lays it in. That's 45. And remember, his season high is 52 at Boston, which is an NBA high this year. 56 against his club, 49 against him. Right side jumper on the way by Ron Anderson. Rimming, nope. Rebound, Jordan. 
What else has he done? Michael brings it into the front court. Michael's waving his arm, saying, clear out, and a foul on Cliff Robinson, guarding Horace Grant in the post. Fouls Two on fouls Robinson. on Robinson. Four team four. fouls on the Sixers. Brad Sellers will make the inbounds pass. He brings it in to Grant. Paxson has it off to the left. Jordan, low left, turnaround jumper. Good. Michael Jordan Michael with Jordan. 47. And I'm out of space. I'm out of space for a while. <laughs> 106-88. Seven minutes remaining. It's a good time for Will Purdue to get his feet wet, too. Right? Here's Velp with a ball right of the circle. Wide right, Wingate. Shot clock at eight. Wingate's lean in jump. Uh-uh. Runs over people going for the rebound. No call. Corzine outlets to Paxson. Pax brings it up on the drive. Spots up and fires. Rims it no good right of the key. Rebound tipped off the glass. Jordan for the dunk. Michael's got 49, the last eight for the Bulls, who trail by 16, 6.33 remaining. David Wingate between the circles, standing dribble against Jordan. Michael has played every minute of the second half. Wingate holding it out front. Out time to the left, he plays to Anderson. Anderson under the basket, trapped. Kicks to Robinson, three-point attempt. Brooks, good for the right side. Scott Brooks nails the three, Sixers up 19. Paxson controlling for the Bulls off to the left. Corzine, right side Sellers. Brad Sellers fires good on the right wing. He has it, does it? Well, we know what the three-point play can do to you. We saw that last night. Yes, sir. Off to the left, Anderson. Chris Phelps left of the circle. They play perimeter, then dump into Robinson. The ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Bulls. Here is Mike Jaminski returning for the 76ers. Chris Velp is out. 5.48 remaining. Philadelphia throws it in play. Right side holding is Brooks. Brooks on the drive. Baseline right under pressure. Dishes it underneath to Robinson who scores and draws the foul. That's going to just about do it. That pulls the plug on the crowd. The foul is on Brad Sellers, his second. I thought that he stepped out of bounds on the play. He got three officials in right in front of him. <laughs> Scott Brooks went to his right, put the brakes on, and completely went out of bounds right in front of Don Baden. 14,185 stirring in the aisles. Anderson nails the free throw. 13 points for Rod Anderson and Philadelphia back up by 20. So it's going to be a split again on back-to-back -back games with the common opponents. Michael Jordan left of the lane surrounded. Gets it to the hoop somehow. Scores the basket and draws the foul. That's 51 points for Jordan. The last 10 scored by the Bulls. The foul is on Anderson. His second team of the moment. Michael on the line, shooting to equal his regular season high of 52. 5.29 left. Jordan hits the free throw. Michael is 24 out of 31 from the floor. 112 to 95 Sixers. This is a new 76er record here, a new record in the spectrum, 52 points. Here's a pass inside, knocked out of bounds by Corzine with 512 left. Barkley coming back. Article in the paper today, Jim, talking about expansion coming in. It's going to cheat the spectrum fans, the Philadelphia fans, of one more trip for Michael. We only come in here twice. They don't care about expansion. They'd like to see Jordan one more time here. Pass off inside, and Corzine waved it out of bounds, and so the 76ers will throw in with eight to shoot. Baseline right, and Cliff Robinson will make the inbounds pass. 5-12 left. Barkley. They have Barkley back in. Here's Brooks throwing over the top. Jordan the steal. Michael behind the back dribble against Brooks, and Brooks lost it out of bounds as he went after the loose ball, so the Bulls have it. Fans applaud that play by Michael Jordan. Sam Vincent, who came into the ball game, brings it up. Doug Collins going with the three-guard look with Grant and Corzine. Jordan off to the left against Barkley. Michael double, drives it left baseline, under pressure, out to Vincent, open 18-footer, it's in. Sam Vincent spots up and drills it. He has six. Philadelphia up 15. 
with 4.45 left. Bulls need to shut out the rest of the way if they're to come back and get it. Brooks on the walk to the right. They'll go to Barkley with it this time. Brooks looks for him. Plays it outside to Wingate instead. Robinson plays over the top to Jaminski. In on Corzine. Half hook in the lane. Rimming no good. Ball tipped into the air. Still loose. Horace Grant grabs it. Ahead to Vincent. Vincent closing on Robinson. Outside left. Paxson. His three-pointer. Rimming. No. Robinson clears for the 76ers. 1-12-97 with 4-13 remaining. Doug Collins gets Jack Haley up again. David Wingate plays it into Jaminski. Low right against Corzine. Jaminski doubled up. Paxson a strip, but a foul on John Paxson. That's his second. Michael Jordan. Michael comes out of the game. 52 points tonight. He gets a standing ovation from what's left of a crowd of 14,185. He was 24 out of 29 from the field, they say. Philadelphia has it in play. Michael Jordan would gladly trade all 52 points for another W. Backdoor cut. Cheeks lays it up. No good. Corzine the rebound. Nearly lost it under the basket. Throws it ahead to uh, Sam Vincent. Vincent dancing on the dribble off to the left with 340 remaining. Right corner, Paxson. Cheeks comes to get him. Pax on the drive foul line. Gives to Corzine. Three-point attempt by Vincent. No good from the left. Ball tipped outside to Paxson. Underneath, Haley. He lays it in. Nice feed by Paxson to Jack Haley. Haley for the layup. Haley has four. 112-99. 3-19 for the game. Bulls with a half-court trap. Cheeks in the front court. Here's Hawkins down the lane to the hoop. Scoop shot. Nope. Rebound. Loose ball foul on Barkley. His third. They're over the limit. That's five team fouls on the 76ers. Loose ball fouls on Mercy Hawkins. Do they call it on Hawkins? Correction, Charles Barkley yes, gets his third personal foul. Absolutely. When. Uh, 32, Will Perdue. Will Perdue is in. Corzine is out. Jack you may have got a little more time here. I know they're, they're trying to come down to catch this win, but uh, Barkley came right over the back of Haley, and now's the time they call that foul, and it's too late. Isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't do you much good. Haley, with four points in the game, has made both free throw attempts, hit both of them last night. Drills this one. Jack Haley with five. 112 to 100. Again, that's it. Yeah, I've seen first thing happen. 308 left. The lead is 11. Hawkins doubled in the front court. Feeds it right side, two cheeks. Right corner, Barkley. Bulls are chasing in the half court trap. Barkley holding in the right corner outside. He makes the pass to Hawkins. Percy Hawkins pass deflected, but to Robinson. Underneath, and Haley is steal. Now to Vincent. Three on two break. Sam Vincent to Haley from the left. He lays it up no good, but a foul called, and Jack Haley shoots two as Cheeks picks up his third foul. Man, the Golden State Warriors under Don Nelson giving the Boston Celtics all they can handle in the garden. Timeout, Philadelphia, 2.47 left. Philadelphia up 11, 112, 101 on the Bulls Network. Friday night, the Hawks are in the stadium. First 10,000 fans receive a Bulls desk clock compliments of Xerox. That's a 7.05 tip, remember. Same deal on Tuesday, December 6th, when Boston comes in, 7.05 tip. And the first 10,000 fans receive a Bulls thermal mug, courtesy of Budweiser. Jack Haley on the free throw line to shoot two with 2.47 left. He could bring the Bulls within nine if he drops them both in. It would be the closest they've been all night. Haley has hit all four free throw attempts. Misses the first one. 2.47 left. Second one up. That's in. It's a 10-point lead for the Sixers. Cheeks. Brings it up against pressure of Vincent. Comes into the front court, off to the right. 
Jaminski out front, swings it left to Anderson. Back out the cheek, sidesteps Vincent, feeds it underneath to Jaminski, he lays it in. Mike Jaminski with the easy one, his first basket of the second half. He's got 16 points in the game. Philadelphia up 12. Will Purdue, top of the circle, hands to Vincent, cut by left. Sam to the hoop, pull up shot left to the lane, is in. Sam Vincent. Vincent has eight, Sixers by 10. Cheeks in the front court, gets doubled up, hook pass to Jaminski, right corner Barkley. Bulls chasing the ball, Barkley dribbles off to the right, double team, now to Cheeks. Left corner Ron Anderson, he comes up shooting and hitting. Anderson with 15. Detroit getting underway at San Antonio, close ball game there, they're playing without Dantley. Suffered that severe injury last night in Dallas. Three-point attempt, Paxson, no good. Will Purdue the rebound. Up, oh, right corner, good. Vincent. Sam Vincent's three-pointer. Good. Sam that Vincent three nails a three and sends 250 to Charitables from True Value. Bulls down nine, though, with 135 left. That's the first three-pointer for Sam this year. Cheeks swings it to Barkley in the right corner. Out to Jaminski. Underneath, Anderson lays it in. Well, they've picked the Bulls half-court trap apart the last three times down. Sam Vincent on the attack. Lobs the ball to Will Perdue off to the right. Vincent has it now. Works to the right side. Works into the corner. Back out to Perdue. Sets the screen for Paxson. Right Offense. corner, Vincent. Offensive foul called on Will Perdue with 112 left. He's doing the right thing. He's trying to get the ball to the three-point shooters and they're running inside the line. But he just moved in and picked the, the foul up. Chris Felt coming in. Barkley goes out with a big, big night. 42 points for him. Charles Barkley. Michael Jordan's 52, a spectrum record, eclipsing the old single game scoring mark of 51 by Moses Malone in 1984. I bet you Moses had a heck of a lot more than four free throws. Right. Cheeks in the front court. We're inside of a minute. So the 76ers will square the Bulls' record at four and four. Hawkins missed the shot left baseline. Vincent comes out on the drive. Lobs it for Haley in for the left. Jack Haley to the hoop. Hook shot missed, but he draws the foul. Haley's been on the line a lot because he's been aggressive with the ball. Personal Chiefs foul is picks up his fourth. Chiefs his fourth personal foul. Team over the limit. Ladies and gentlemen, with 52 points tonight, Michael Jordan has Anthony set a Jones. new Spectrum floor scoring record. Anthony Jones comes in. Replacing Horace Grant. Tough night at the office for Horace Grant. Six points scored. Ran into a Charles Barkley who was really enthused about the game, and that can be dangerous. Haley. Technical foul, Technical on, Doug. foul on Doug Collins by Tommy Nunez. With 45 seconds left in the game. And Doug can get his money's worth because they throw him now at 45. Doesn't mean much. Haley missed the foul. Haley says, wait a minute. You I got another are, free throw. You guys were hollering. And... You Holland says, you'll get it after Mike Jaminski Jaminski shoots the technical. technical. 14 points for Jaminski in the game. Free throw is good. I'm sorry, he's got 17 points in the game now. Three of three from the foul line to go with his seven hoops. They've missed only two free throws tonight. Both of those by Barkley. That's about all Barkley has missed in the game. 45 seconds left. Sixers by 12 and one more shot for Haley. That's good. Philadelphia lead is 11. Cheeks throws ahead to Hawkins. Percy Hawkins shy of the line, out of Cheeks. Jaminski in the middle, right corner, Velp. Cross court left to Hawkins. Left baseline shot, Ron Anderson. In around and out. Haley the rebound, lost it, and came off his head. Now he slaps at the dribble and brings it up. Anthony Jones, three-pointer. No good right side. Hawkins the rebound, long heave to Jaminski ahead of the back for the dunk. Jaminski a new season high. He got it last night and got it again tonight. We're almost going to have the reversal score. Here's Paxson right side underneath to Haley. Turnaround shot is good from the Jack right Henry. baseline. Jack Haley in double figures tonight. Ten points for him. 
121-110 Sixers. Anderson to the hole, lays it in. Philadelphia up 13 with one second left. Ball game is over here in Philadelphia. And then back-to-back -back games between the two teams. The home club prevails both nights. Last night, the Bulls in Chicago Stadium winning by 13. Tonight, here in the Spectrum, Philadelphia wins by 13. The final score, Philadelphia 123, the Bulls 110. We'll be back to recap after these messages on the Bulls Network. On back-to-back -back nights, the two home clubs exchange 13-point wins. Tonight, Philadelphia a winner, 123 to 110. Well, the Budweiser dunk of the game belongs to the King of Dunk. In the first half, as the Bulls ran the break, Brad Sellers in open court, alley-oop to Michael Jordan, and this dunk is for you. Just two of Michael Jordan's 52 points in the game a Spectrum scoring record tonight. The old mark, 51 by Moses Malone in 1984. Michael's 52 equals his NBA high, which he set in Boston a few days ago. But the final verdict is Philadelphia winning it. And so the Bulls' overall record back to the 500 mark at 4-4. Four and four. And on the road right now, the Bulls are 2-3. and three. Not much balance after Michael's 52. Sellers with a dozen. Vincent had 11. And off the bench, rookie Jack Haley had 10 points in this game. He scored eight of them in the fourth quarter as he came in to try to do something with Charles Barkley, who led the 76ers in scoring tonight. Barkley with 42 points, but they had some help. 19 for Mike Jaminski. Ron Anderson also added 19. And uh, also in double figures for the 76ers was David Wingate with 11. Philadelphia was up big at halftime by 20. The closest the Bulls were able to get was 10 points late in the ball game. They had a chance to get it to nine, but Haley missed a free throw. And thus the 76ers were able to pull away and escape and uh, win the ball game going away by 13, as it turned out. An attendance figure tonight in the spectrum of 14,185. The Bulls back home on Friday night, remember, against the Atlanta Hawks in Chicago Stadium. A 7.05 tip, the Bulls and the Hawks. Well, our Toyota player of the game, Bulls superstar Michael Jordan, 52 points tonight to equal his season high. The next WFLD Bulls Television Network game will be next Tuesday as the Bulls open the West Coast trip in Sacramento starting at 9.30 Chicago time. This game has been produced and directed by Jim Angio. Coordinating producer is Steve Shanwald. Production manager Ken Cold. His assistant, Randy Ingram. Studio director tonight, Michael Tietrich. Remote facilities provided by Prism. The executive producer is Bob Simone. Again, our final score, the 76ers 123, the Bulls 110. For Johnny Kerr, this is Jim Durham saying good night. The preceding has been a sports presentation of Fox Television Stations Incorporated and the Chicago Bulls.